So do you will uh, do you want to go into fluent uh, into space claim, and we will make these name selections. Yeah. And and then go into fluent meshing and run it. Um, and instead of showing you step by step the GUI, I'm going to just run it through using this because after you use this once, you don't need the GUI again, almost. Right. Um, there's also like a tutorial online, so I'm not going to go over that with you because it's already there. Cool. Um, what I'll also do, wait, hang on, hang on. One thing. Yeah. People like you make me crazy. Maximize your windows. All right. <laughs> Um, well, hang on one sec. Um, I think I didn't add here. Um, you need to add, so those are name selections on body. Um, so symmetry, inlet. So it's important to make sure that your syntax is exactly the same. Inlet, yeah. everything being lowercase. Yeah. Right? Outlet, wall. So wall, not walls. Um, and then ground symmetry. Yeah, those are all the ones that I've used. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I just noticed that you were doing, um, which what you can do easier, right, is so in this particular case, sorry, I'm just going to spin it around. Um, oh, that's so weird. Right. So I'm just going to delete this because uh, both of these need to be walls, and instead of going create group. If you highlight over it, you can see there's a control G, right? Yeah. So you hit control G, it just auto makes it. Instead of right clicking, going rename, you can hit F2, mm -hmm. right? And just call it wall. Cool. Right. So that just makes it a little bit easier. All right. Do you want to do this? Um, do the outer surfaces. So do the symmetry ground and outlet real quick. And then I'll show you a neat trick to do the rest of them. The other thing you can do is instead of making instead of making a selection and then changing the name, you can make all the selections and then change the names all at once. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. It's again like these are the things I just because I've just been doing it for a while. I kind of I know what works for me, um, and that just works for me better. Um, yeah. You'll, as you're doing it, you'll pick up things that work better for you. That's the outer stuff, right? Uh, no, you don't have symmetry. But what you can do, right? Stop right there. Um, what you can do if you're unsure. If you select all of these, and hide them, right? It'll yeah, it'll pretty much show everything you've got. You can right click on this face, go face, yeah, hide, wait. and straight away you can see that you haven't selected this face here on the outer surface. Yeah. Right. You want to do that? <laughs> I was about to shout at you and throw my keyboard at you, but good man. <laughs> Um, do you want to hide that and then do the same for the other ones? Um, so in your particular case, obviously you don't have a wheel. Um, yeah, I had mine in there before. I don't know where it's from. Yeah, it's fine. All right, we'll we'll work with this and then we can change things later. Um, do you? Um, that should be fine. Do you want to do that now? What's that? Uh, your 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 name selections for your front wing. You probably just do front wing chassis and um, and diffuser. Is there a quick way for me to do it? Yeah, yeah. Don't do that. Uh, let yeah. me show you. Um, so I'm just gonna go on the top. So the Y. No, Y. Cool. I'm just gonna move myself in. So I'm just using my left click. If I go from the bottom left to the top right, right, you can see that box that's created. And it'll pretty mm -hmm. much pick up everything. If I go the other way, it'll yeah, only pick up all the faces that are in that box. Where if I go this way, it'll pick up anything else, right? Mm -hmm. So for you, I'll probably choose all of this, right? And what I can do, I just go Control G, hit that F2. Um, oh, I made that mistake. Front wing. And if I'm not sure if I picked everything up, select it all, right click, I can hide the face. So you can see I've clearly selected everything. If I needed to, though, I can go um, damn zoom. select it all, select an extra face, right click, and so I right click on the group selection, and I should be able to. No, I can just make a new name selection if I wanted to. I can replace it. Sorry. Right. Right. 
So, so if I didn't select all the faces, I select this name selection again, it'll select what's selected. I'll select a couple extra faces and then I go right click replace and it'll replace it all. Okay. Right. Um, in this particular case, right. Um, so because I'm oh, sorry. All right. So we pretty much got what's left here. Um, I'll probably just select all these and I'll probably just go down and do all of this. Yeah, that'll work. Right. Um, and it looks as if I haven't quite got everything around there, but if I just go control G hit that diffuser, right click, um, face, hide faces. I've got a couple extra ones there that I've picked up. Um, and if I double say click on that curve and that, it looks as if I've selected everything else. Cool. Right. Why, why is there a weird select diffuser as well? Why is there a weird um, cut out? The the... Sorry? We can't lift the engine up, so we have to work with that. That's fair enough. What, why is there like a of a, a, what is this section? Is that? Uh, I filled it in. Maybe uh, that's why that's like that. Uh, okay, right. So that whole thing is just okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm with. That you would now. be hollow, but I filled it in. Yeah, I'm with you now. Um, so again, face hide. It's gotten everything awesome. Um, and then what I'd do afterwards, I'd pretty much just select all that's left, and you know mm -hmm. straight away um, that's your chassis. Right, right click, just show everything afterwards if you want to and you're pretty much good to go. Show all faces. Cool, that's pretty much everything on that end. Um, enclosure is called enclosure, which is good. You've got BOI1 and BOI2 here. So instead, um, what are they actually? Okay, so I think if I go back to this, you can also generally tell um, F is for far, N is for near. So let's just use those two. Mm -hmm. Right, so if I call this, yep. If I call this BOI dash near, right, BOI dash F for far. Cool. Save that. Oh, whoops. Um, if you want to just save that, save as something else, so you've got your old reference geometry and you've got the new one just so you can tell the difference? Um, there's not any difference other than that one of them has been named, so I could probably just save it. Yeah, okay, save it then. Just save it in Hashan Zoom, so that way everything that we've just done is in one folder. Okay. And also, um, yeah, just go back. And I'd, um, I'd also just make sure you've got your names, like set up some sort of worksheet or some Excel sheet to name everything. Make sure there's some sort of name selection so you know when you know you're running a certain simulation, um, you you make like your own code or something that says you know um, error, you know e e e hail or you know dash diffuser dash two dash date or something like that, right? And just make sure everything's in line. 